Hey guys, Nate the Auto Outdoorsman here, and in this video you're going to be seeing me uh, test the all-season sled, also I've been calling it the Trevi sled. Uh, it's a project that me and my friend Tom have been building in the past few videos. Uh, this test didn't really go as expected because the one weekend I didn't really want it to snow, we got about 4 inches of snow. So I decided to test it anyways, but because of the conditions it made it really hard for me to test. Um, and because it was harder to pull um i didn't really get to really film it that much uh so i did salvage what i could of the filming and uh put together what you see in this video a follow-up will be coming up in the next video uh where i'll be giving my feedback on it i hope you guys enjoy that and just enjoy what you see in here and a test will be coming out in the future see you in a bit now here's the thing we know this thing works as a sled and the snow isn't that deep and it unexpectedly snowed on me on this camping trip. So let's try it as a cart. The snow is only about three inches deep so and the wheel assembly is not the easiest to get off so I've set it up. Let's give it a try. I'm going to switch over to the GoPro and we'll see how this thing operates as a cart in the snow, unfortunately, when it'd be more efficient as a sled. So yes, I'm gonna, I know I'm going to get some comments as why don't you just use it as a sled, but it still needs to be tested. So I could just convert it, but unfortunately the conversion set needs a lot of tweaking which we didn't have time to do so let's get going So I wanted to give a quick, sh I want to show off the Trevi sled. Um, it's a little flimsy, but it needs a lot of improvement. But basically, essentially what it was, basically what it is, has two tires and has, we basically attached eye hooks with carabiners on it, ran along the side and the frame has PVC on it. We have a wheel assembly that has wood, and on the front we have um, two poles. I decided to stress test this by pulling it through the snow, and it didn't really, the the friction uh, method that we used to hold in the PVC didn't hold up that well to the stress test. But pulling it through the snow wasn't my best idea. So what we're going to do is I may have to take, to pull the stuff out, I may have to try and remove, see if I can pull off the wheels, but we'll have to go from there. Um, but some of the notes I have on this is the problem is right now it's very cumbersome. Uh, the wheel assembly made it uh, pretty wide, it made it hard to pull through some of the smaller areas, so it made it pretty wide. Um, so it's definitely going to take a lot more prototyping of, that we're going to have to do with it. I didn't film a lot of bringing this in 
mostly because it was just really hard to pull into the for it to pull in so that's why i didn't end up doing a lot of the filming but i did show some of the i did get some of the filming of the of me bringing it in but I, it did make me very wet and so it's it's i will have to work on a pack frame method of bringing in so it's gonna it's it needs some adjustments but we will uh but that's part of the prototyping method but i'll do some follow-up thoughts on this inside i figured i'd show you guys this outside um and we'll go from there